It's kind of sad to see it go, and I guess. Long as it was here, you always had hopes that there might be something come from it, but I guess not. Maybe something else will take its place. I don't know. It stands more than nine stories tall. It weighs more than 200 tons. It once held 60,000 bushels of Saskatchewan wheat. And now it is being cut and torn away from its home of nearly half a century. The town is Green Street, Saskatchewan, population 50. The event is the moving of the town's one and only remaining green elevator. Over a period of six days, this aging prairie giant will be lifted nearly two meters into the air, loaded onto custom-designed trailers, and hauled 50 kilometers away to a new Saskatchewan home and the start of a new life. Months in planning, the move requires absolute precision. Any error, any miscalculation could mean disaster. The danger is real. It wouldn't be the first time an elevator has been reduced to bits of splintered wood scattered across the prairie. During the two-day journey, 25 power lines must be lowered and one small wooden bridge reinforced, thus allowing the people to witness the passing struggle of another part of prairie history. I sure missed it when they closed her down, because my farmland was right, right here. I had hauled my grain within a mile or so away. And now it's 25 miles, roughly. It's supposed to be progress, I guess, but you wonder at times. Danny down at the end here was uh, crying because they're moving the elevator out and uh, he didn't know how the school bus driver was going to find their way to get him home. No, it's it's bad, uh, I think, for the farmers, really. Mm -hmm. See it go. Now we got to go farther with our grain. And, and then you have the crow yet and you got to pay from there yet some more. And I don't think there's any end to it. Yeah, you always see it, like from home, you can always see it, and now you won't be able to see Green Street from home no more. That'll be it. 